Hello, everyone. This lesson that you're missing uh, covers an outcome that's not in our textbook, but is part of the curriculum, and that is distance and midpoint. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to work with the two formulas that you need to work with. So, uh, first of all, there's one correction that needs to be made on this slide. And that is in this formula for distance, we should have a square root over it just like that. And that's Shaq barking in the background in case you hear that. Anyways, we will be working with the distance formula and the midpoint formula below. And our first goal is going to be to find the distance between two points. So again, let's just correct this. So we should have a square root. Now, if we're given two points, we can calculate the distance between them by using the distance formula here. So if we look at these two points, we can call this x1, y1, and x2, y2 for our second point. So according to the formula, we just need to plug in the correct values, as I will do. So x2 I have chosen as negative 4 minus y2, oh, sorry, x1, I should say, which is 3 squared, plus y2, which is 7, minus y1, which is 8, also squared. And when I go to calculate this, I do the work in the brackets first. So we end up with negative 7 squared and negative 1 squared. And remember that when we're squaring negative numbers, we'll always end up with a positive. So negative 7 squared gives me 49 and negative 1 squared gives me 1, which is the square root of 50. Now, shortly we will learn how to simplify, or simplify radicals, uh, so we will be able to write this square root of 50 in a different form, but right now we will leave our answer in that form. And that gives us the distance between the two points. Moving on to our next formula, we will use this formula to find the midpoint, which is the halfway point between these two points. So, using the formula, we can plug in, and I'm just going to use x1, y1, x2, y2. Really, it doesn't matter what order we go in. Uh, you'll notice that our formula he here says x2 plus x1, but I could go ahead and do x1 plus, one, x one plus x2 because we're adding. So, I'm going to add the x's. So x2 plus x1 and divide by 2. Oh, well, I shouldn't have a bracket there. Let's see if we can erase that. Oh, no, can't erase it. Okay, imagine this is a giant comma. Not a bracket. And then our y's, we will have y2 plus y1 divided by 2. So when I simplify this, we end up with negative 4 divided by 2 as our x-coordinate and negative 9 divided by 2 as our y-coordinate. Now I should work vertically here, but I've run out of room. So as I simplify, I can write this as negative 2 and this fraction doesn't re reduce, so I could leave it as negative 9 over 2, or if you wanted to write it as negative 4.5. But I'm going to choose to leave it as a fraction. And there is my midpoint. So that's how we work with the two formulas. Now it's up to you to see if you can apply these to the 
questions that we've been looking at in class or that you will be looking at in your assignment, sorry. So good luck with that. Hope the band trip is fun and we will see you when you get back.